Gemma overheard a teacher saying that we were going to become the next not knowns. The not what? Not knowns. They had cups of tea, talking, standing, talking in the sun, outside. When he wasn't looking, Gemma spat in his tea, said he'd know that all right. But what? The Not Knowns project and play is an exciting, collaborative, cutting-edge project which has come out of recent psychological research into autobiographical memory. We've been touring a fast-paced 45-minute ensemble production followed by experiential workshop. And this workshop's really been where the magic happens. Young people are watching this will think, yeah, I don't want to be like, like the position that JJ's in. Um, I kind of... I kind of can relate to Lola and I want to see myself in five years time. Where will I be in five years time? I think if young people can sit there and think. <laughs> I really did enjoy it. I really enjoyed um, relating to a lot of the characters mm -hmm. in certain ways. Um, particularly related to uh, Lola. Yellow dress. Is that are those details important? They are important to Lola. Yeah. Why? So they can step back a little bit because sometimes it's a bit raw to talk about your own, you know, your own situation. So we we create characters so they can take, take a bit of a step back and look at consequences of, of actions of some of the decisions that some of these characters are making. Which again, it's a bit safer to do that when you can stand back a little bit from it. Yes, I mean, the, the, the focus is very much on the girl because she's uh, 16, just about to leave school and she has to make some choices. And one of the themes of the play is that is about uh, enabling people to see the possibility of choice and therefore how to bring about change. Um, so the focus is she gets a letter saying, all right, you're, you're leaving school at 16, you have to go into some sort of training or employment, what are you going to do? And then it's how she interacts with her stepfather, Sean, who just wants her to get money and actually wants her to do something that's probably um, quite challenging and illegal, uh, which he got the older boy to do. Um, um, and it's also about the choices people make around her. So it's about the choices her mother's made, about the choices Ruby encourages the mother to make, about the choices Sean, her stepdad, has made, and about the choices her brother has made as well. I think what's really important is to, by, by working with the groups that are not knowns, uh, or people in danger of becoming not knowns, is actually to get their their vocabulary, their thinking, um, their language patterns, as well as their thinking patterns, uh, and and kind of record those and and put those in the play as well. Um, so what was really interesting when we moved into the workshop is the way the students who'd helped kind of create the play responded to the workshop as well, and how they 
were given advice to the characters and how they would take, you know, suggesting they move forward in the advice. And it wasn't, you know, it wasn't easy answers. They were given very complex answers to how they could move forward, which was fantastic because that's actually the best way to bring about change. It's the best way to move forward is uh, using that. I mean, the, the, the work with the psychology was, was fascinating because actually it's about using memories to work in the present. My job as a director has been to bridge these complex ideas about the science and to really connect with young audiences but that also set up ideas for our workshop. So it was really important to me in the process working with the actors that we created something that had, uh, it was very high impact, that it was constantly moving and an evolving piece of heightened physical and playful ensemble theatre that set up moments of potential change but also told a really clear story um, made and broke patterns and allowed the audience to connect with each character and had time and space to think. So it's important for it to be relatable, of course, but also theatrical, um, contrasting playful comedy moments with darker, volatile, uh, dangerous encounters or suggestions. This is a play about memory. It's called The Not Knowns and it's been written and um, informed by young people in Hull and it's about choices and change and how we move forward. Um, before I hand over to the cast, um, after the play, we're going to have a, a short workshop. I'm going to ask you to participate and see what, what we find in the play together. The young people that, that I was working with were really keen that, um, that, 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 that the play um, kind of sparked those thoughts off in young people. Um, a lot of them said, if only we'd have seen a play like this when we was at school. I'm like, really? The, you know, would that, made a, would that have made a difference? I'm like, yeah, you know, we'd have... We'd have, we'd have thought about what we're doing um, because all of a sudden you're in school and you know what you're doing on a daily basis and then all of a sudden you're not. I was like, yeah, but, but, but you knew that. You knew that was coming and they were like, yeah, but it's not until you're kind of in that situation. I'm like, yeah, of course. When, when, when all of us can look back on, on those similar kind of thoughts and we can remember when you know things seemed pretty on track and then times when things didn't seem on track. Um, so yeah, th that's what the group wanted and that's obviously what, what we want as well. Um, and I think for young people watching it that they know what they want to do and you know they, they don't have any of the kind of issues going on in their lives um, that kind of are brought up in the play, um, you know, they'll get out of it, they'll still get something out of it. Um, they'll still kind of look at how their memories have, have, have kind of affected their lives or for, the, for the positive. Um, and you know, again, thinking about their future, but also looking at um, their own creative ability. Um, they might be, might never thought that they were very creative, and this might spark a bit of an idea. And we want young people's ideas for 2017. There's a the big gap there. You know, she's got this letter, and it hasn't quite finished because she's still got to solve it. Give her some advice. Yeah. Don't listen to what other people think. It's your choice. Do you want to stand up and say that again? Like that. Everyone listen to that, please. Don't listen to what other people have to say about the choices you have to make. It's not their choice, it's yours. So she can help us out. It's not your choice. I think that's fantastic advice. It's not your choice, it's yours. We've been working with over 1,000 participants and young people and adults. Um, some groups with learning difficulties, physical disabilities. Um, we've been meeting different youth groups, bringing different youth groups together, um, young people with behavioural issues, secondary schools, academies, colleges, people who are at risk of becoming not known and anyone who experiences making choices in Yorkshire and the Humberside region. The biggest workshop that we've done has been for 300 participants uh, it's my, my role to adapt and respond to each different needs to get um, to, to get the ideas of the memory science out for, for each group. I really enjoyed it because I've never thought of looking into the memory side of a play or a play that's been focused on memories because you never think about the past really but they've shaped their future on their past which I thought was a really creative way of doing it. Mm. I also enjoyed like how they showed some feelings in like they're producing their body like in an unnaturalistic style. I really thought it was real creative and yeah, I really I really do enjoy it. <laughs> That's great. So they'll see me then and they'll know me then.
Yeah. You what? Yeah. Yeah. No, none of this Aaron Boy stuff. No, no, yeah. oh my days, that's so. Yeah. You what? Yeah. Yeah. Jamie. Yeah. Yeah. Jamie. Of course, JJ. That's me. JJ. Do you like it? JJ. Cool. JJ. JJ. Do you remember me for that? JJ. 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 Go, go. Later, yeah. Bye, bye, bye. bye. All of these choices are founded in, in this idea of memory, the way that people uh, remember things happening in their lives and they think of those things as being uh, significant, the way that a particular event such as their mother's marriage to their stepfather is seen as a big event which uh, they can look back on and see as being in some way important. This correlates with, with lots of the memory science, Giuliano Mazzoni's work particularly, um, and it looks at how, how, how that, um, how the memories that we kind of construct for ourselves can often give us a false sense that something has happened to cause a particular event to unfold. We adapt all our memories to make sense of the present and to move forward. And so really what was key to the underpinning the plays is how people use memories to either stay where they're at or to justify not moving forward or to actually work towards trying to move forward and we see that change or leading up to change is very scary. Change itself happens very quickly but leading up to change is actually quite a scary thing because you're actually thinking well this might not turn out all right. Um, so we saw the characters doing that, we saw the characters being challenged by that, that's why the ending was open so then we could engage with the workshop with the ideas. It's also been using theatre as a, a bridge for really complex scientific breakthroughs in the research side of things with autobiographical memory, uh, but bridging that with the real world and for social change and problem solving for these young people. We've been exploring the importance of having our own stories, our identity, what that means to have a story and, and the importance of little things. Idiot. But still, do good dad. Took him in East Stanford once. But he was an idiot. Made them all laugh, but... I think it's a really good idea yeah. to like get younger people involved because when, pe when people my age think of a play they think, uh, boring, they don't want to be involved in that but yeah, at, f at first I was like that but then when you see the people in it and they're round about your age, yeah. you think, oh yeah, they, it's actually quite cool doing it. <laughs> Who said I? Breath of fresh air, me. That's what they said once again. Breath of... When did you last shower? <laughs> An opportunity. <laughs> it's a sewer, a stinking sewer. You've lost your nerve. Eh? They'll I say don't you've lost your nerve. Never stay. That's back. why you sent me. Lost your nerve. I never. Ask him. What? Go on, ask him. Your mum doesn't want me working. Oh Your my mom. days. Ask him. I can imagine that it well that it will make them think about their situation, the choices they've got to make, and um, and about not putting themselves into a dead end position, and that you know perhaps just because you've made a choice or a decision, you don't have to stick with that if you work it work out that it's not appropriate in the end. Yeah. It doesn't make you happy. I can imagine that that, that it will make them kind of think about the choices they've got coming up and what they've got to do. I think it was it was just so pertinent to what those young people kind of experience and the, the kind of things that happen. Something that gives them a message about there are things there even if what you're seeing immediately isn't appealing to you, then there are other things that you can look at and discuss and I think the whole 
thing around drama is it just makes it more interesting, it makes it more alive and it makes it more intriguing for them to want to find more. So seeing something so kind of here it is and it just is real, you know, real and alive and fun, yeah. then I just think that's, that's an amazing way to engage them. I, think, I do think it will have an impact. like a bill. So I left it. Don't want bills. Want a season ticket? Man's due. City me. City till I die. East and me. East and till I die. History. East and history. Every home game, East and. Every away game, same pub. East and pub down Annalby Road. Good job I stay in that pub. I mean, if I went away, I mean, no oats. Saucy throwing southerners, and as for Chelsea, I mean, I don't start nothing. But if someone starts something with me, I'll finish it.